Without the ocean, our climate would be much warmer. Why is that? It's because the ocean takes up more than 90% of the anthropogenic heat produced by greenhouse warming, and the ocean takes up about a third of the anthropogenic carbon dioxide added to the atmosphere. We thus need a healthy ocean to mitigate climate change. More than a third of all people on the planet live in coastal areas. More than 3 billion people rely on the ocean for their livelihoods, including for their protein supply, the vast majority in developing countries. Half of the world's photosynthesis happens in the oceans. Ocean microscopic plants are the base of all ocean food chains, including fish. Oceans are under increasing threat from both climate change and direct human activities. Melting of glaciers and thermal expansion result in sea level rise. When combined with more intense storms, sea level rise results in coastal flooding and erosion, dislocation of people, aquaculture and wetland loss. Nutrient dumping in our waters and increased warming result in anoxia and the presence of harmful algal blooms and pathogens. These directly threaten the health of both humans and animals. Ocean acidification directly affects ocean plants and fisheries. Under climate warming, plants and fish are migrating to the cooler north, and many polar species are lost, just like on land. These compound changes threaten global food security, especially for seafood-dependent nations in the global south. What can we all do to help? As a mother, I care deeply. I want a healthy ocean and a balanced climate for my children. So I am involved in a fun educational campaign called sciencemoms.com, check it out. We science moms and teachers recommend you study and debate these issues to educate others and educate yourself. Take classes and read books. Demand political change to green our economies and lower our collective carbon emissions. And remember that ocean health is vital for our health and the health of our planet. Thank you.